I wanted to come here and have a quick chat to you to just encourage you on your walk with God, to reignite your faith in Him, and to just really reassure you that there is still a plan over your life after narcissistic abuse. Um, if you guys know me, then you would have probably known me from my YouTube channel where I talk about narcissist and narcissistic abuse from a higher level of truth, um, revealing a higher level of truth from a biblical and spiritual perspective. And I don't deem narcissist as the world deems them. I don't, I'm not a, I'm not an expert in that regards. I just speak on narcissism from personal experience and I'm a believer. So I speak on everything from a biblical point of view because I believe once you know the true, the truth of what you're going through, the truth will set you free. And so I wanted to tell you that if you're with a narcissist at the moment or if you've been narcissistically abused, then there is still hope for you because God knew it was going to get to this. You didn't catch God by surprise. You, um, you, you didn't catch God of God because God knew that you would get to this and um, he still has a plan over your life. There is still a bigger purpose into why a narcissist was presented because the Bible tells us that God works all things out for your good. Um, not just the bad or the good, both the good and the bad. He works them out for your good, including your narcissistic abuse. God is going to turn that around for your highest good and greatest joy, given that you surrender your life to him, surrender your pain, because God will give you beauty for ashes. But first, you must be willing to let go of the ashes. You cannot hold on to, to your ashes and expect God to give you beauty. Because number one, God cannot give you what's in his hand while you're still holding on to your ashes with one hand. Your hands are full and you cannot receive from God when your hands are full. Just as you can't receive anything from me if I'm going to give you something now if you're carrying something else in your hands. So the same thing goes with our walk with God. And if you're wondering what, what am I talking about when I say ashes, ashes is everything that you've been through, all your disappointments. Um, all your shattered dreams, your heartbreak, your, you know, the pieces of your broken heart, the, you know, the, the disappointment and betrayal of your loved ones, your painful past, you put that all together. These are your ashes and you give that to God. You surrender all of that to God and God promises to give you beauty in return. And God also promises in one of the Bible verses that he is going to give you a double portion in your blessing, in your inheritance, because God is going to bless you abundantly. And he is going to give you double for all your former trouble. Have a look at your past and you will see that everything you've been through, all the trouble that you've been through and that you're going through right now, God promises to give you double that. He will give you double for your former trouble and everlasting joy shall be yours. And the, another Bible verse which tells us the pain that you've, been, that you've been feeling right now can't compare to the joy that is coming. So whatever pain you're in right now, you can't, it, it, you can't compare it to the joy that is coming and that will be revealed in Christ Jesus. And I want to encourage you with one of... Um, with one of my favorite scriptures from the Bible, if I can just quickly find it. Okay, there we are. Uh, Colossians in chapter three, verse one to three. And it says, since then you have been raised with Christ. Set your hearts on things above where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things above and not on earthly things. For you died and your new life is now hidden with Christ in God. So the narcissist actually comes into your life to, to help you put off your old self. That you may die to your flesh. That you may die to your old self and be reborn again into the spirit. Because unless you're born again, you can't enter the kingdom of God. And just as your old self has been crucified with Christ, and just as you believe Christ has been resur resurrected, your new self will resurrect with Christ also. So your old self has been, has been crucified with Christ, your new self has been raised with Christ, and your new life is now hidden in Jesus Christ. 
and it will be revealed to you at the right time. And once Christ is revealed in your life, then you will see the glory and the magnificence of God manifest in your life. Because the narcissist or outside circumstances do not have the final say in your life. Your God who is in heaven has the final say and God still has a plan. And let me just end this video by saying God knows the plans he has for you, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding and all your ways submit to him and he will make your path straight. Always believe in God because those who put their trust in God shall not be put to shame. And I hope this has blessed your soul in some way. Um, you know, follow me for daily videos and encouragement. Check out my resources and the link in my bio. And if there's anything I can help you with, please reach out to me and let me know. Um, God bless all your souls and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.